Hello and welcome to Splaining Health. Today, we'll be talking about Mediterranean diet and why it's considered one of the healthiest diets in the world. Let's also see a scientific study. Is Mediterranean diet really efficient to the cardiovascular system? Watch the video till the end. First all, what is Mediterranean diet? The Mediterranean diet is based on the traditional foods and eating patterns of countries that surround the Mediterranean Sea, such as Greece, Italy, and Spain. It is characterized by a high intake of plant-based foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and a moderate intake of fish, seafood, and dairy products. Red meat and processed foods are consumed in small amounts, and alcohol, primarily in the form of red wine, is consumed in moderation. The Mediterranean diet is rich in healthy fats, such as monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which are found in olive oil, nuts, and fish. These fats have been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease and improve cholesterol levels. The diet is also high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which help to reduce inflammation and prevent chronic diseases such as diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. Studies have shown that following a Mediterranean diet can have numerous health benefits, including reducing the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes, improving cognitive function and memory, and promoting a healthy weight. One of the unique aspects of the Mediterranean diet is the emphasis on social and cultural factors, such as sharing meals with family and friends and taking time to enjoy food. These aspects promote a positive relationship with food and can lead to a more sustainable approach to healthy eating. What are some of the recent findings from studies that confirm the health benefits of following a Mediterranean diet? Before starting, are you interested in learning more about health and wellness? If so, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Splaining Health. On my channel, I provide easy-to-understand explanations about various health topics, including nutrition, fitness, mental health, and much more. By subscribing to my channel, you'll receive regular updates on the latest health trends and research, as well as practical tips on how to improve your overall well-being. I also encourage you to leave a thumbs up and comment on any videos that you find particularly helpful or informative. Your feedback helps me to continue creating content that is tailored to your needs and interests. Now let's analysis this article from 2020. Mediterranean diet intervention in overweight and obese subjects lowers plasma cholesterol and causes changes in the gut microbiome and metabolome independently of energy intake. The study design is a parallel, eight-week randomized controlled trial involving 82 healthy overweight and obese subjects who have a habitually low intake of fruit and vegetables and a sedentary lifestyle. This design allows for comparison between two groups, the intervention group, MED, and the control group, COND, over a specific period of time. The study participants were randomly assigned to either the MED or the condominium group, which helps to ensure that the two groups are similar in terms of their baseline characteristics and reduces the potential for selection bias. The MED group received an isocaloric Mediterranean diet tailored to their habitual energy intakes, while the condominium group maintained their regular diets. The primary outcome measure of the study was dietary adherence, which was likely assessed through dietary recall or food records. The secondary outcome measures were metabolic parameters, the microbiome composition, and systemic metabolome. These outcomes were likely assessed through blood tests and stool samples. One potential limitation of the study design is the relatively short duration of the intervention, eight weeks, which may not be long enough to see significant changes in the outcome measures. Additionally, the study sample only includes individuals who are overweight or obese with a habitually low intake of fruit and vegetables and a sedentary lifestyle, which limits the generalizability of the findings to other populations. Overall, the study design is appropriate for investigating the effects of an isocaloric Mediterranean diet intervention on dietary adherence, metabolic health, gut microbiome, 
and systemic metabolome in overweight and obese individuals with lifestyle risk factors for metabolic disease. The results indicated that increased adherence to the Mediterranean diet in the med group successfully reprogrammed subjects' intake of fiber and animal proteins, which was confirmed by lowered levels of carnitine in plasma and urine. The med group also experienced significant reductions in plasma cholesterol levels, the primary outcome measure, and fecal bile acids compared to the condominium group. Shotgun metagenomics showed that gut microbiome changes reflected individual adherence to the Mediterranean diet, and an increase in gene richness was observed in participants who reduced systemic inflammation over the intervention period. Specifically, the Mediterranean diet intervention led to increased levels of the fiber-degrading Fecalibacterium prosnitzii and genes for microbial carbohydrate degradation linked to butyrate metabolism. The dietary changes in the med group also led to increased urinary urolithins, fecal bile acid degradation, and insulin sensitivity, which were found to co-vary with specific microbial taxa. These results suggest that the Mediterranean diet intervention positively impacted the gut microbiome and systemic metabolome, which may have contributed to the observed improvements in metabolic health markers. Overall, the results suggest that an isocaloric Mediterranean diet intervention can lead to beneficial changes in dietary patterns, metabolic health markers, gut microbiome composition, and systemic metabolome in overweight and obese individuals with lifestyle risk factors for metabolic disease. These findings could have important implications for the prevention and treatment of metabolic diseases. The conclusion of the study discussed is that switching subjects to a Mediterranean diet while maintaining their energy intake resulted in reduced blood cholesterol levels and multiple changes in their microbiome and metabolome. These findings suggest that the Mediterranean diet intervention could be a promising strategy for improving metabolic health in overweight and obese individuals with lifestyle risk factors for metabolic disease. The study's results indicate that the Mediterranean diet intervention positively impacted the gut microbiome, which could have contributed to the observed improvements in metabolic health markers. Specifically, the increased levels of the fiber-degrading Fecalibacterium prosnitzii and genes for microbial carbohydrate degradation linked to butyrate metabolism suggest that the Mediterranean diet may promote the growth of beneficial gut bacteria and improve gut health. Additionally, the study found that the Mediterranean diet intervention led to increased urinary urolithins, fecal bile acid degradation, and insulin sensitivity, which were found to co-vary with specific microbial taxa. These findings suggest that the Mediterranean diet may improve metabolic health by modulating the gut microbiome and systemic metabolome. Overall, the study's conclusion supports the idea that the Mediterranean diet is a promising intervention for improving metabolic health in overweight and obese individuals with lifestyle risk factors for metabolic disease. The findings from this study could have important implications for the development of future strategies for the prevention and treatment of metabolic diseases. In conclusion, if you want to feel like a Greek god or goddess, then the Mediterranean diet may be the way to go. But in all seriousness, recent studies have confirmed the numerous health benefits of following a Mediterranean diet, including lower risk of heart disease. By incorporating plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fish, and healthy fats into your diet, you can reap the rewards of this delicious and nutritious way of eating. So why not give it a try? Who knows, you may just discover your new favorite recipe for hummus or grilled veggies. Don't forget to subscribe to Splaining Health for more helpful tips on how to live a healthy, happy life. And as always, keep calm and eat hummus. Good health!